Hey guys, Allegar here. This is my Seven Days to Die Let's Play. I just figured I'll <clears throat> run you guys through a little bit of an introduction, kind of show you the basics of the game. This is uh, kind of Minecraft-ish, um, where you the basic goal of the game is to survive. So I'll kind of say what I'm doing as I'm walking through it and uh, you know kind of go from there so let's get started anyways the first thing you need to do is you need to start gathering resources as well as crafting your first weapon um, when you start the game <coughs> your character has no armor so you have to either find or create it and that's what we're going to do. We're going to first gather some material. Uh, the very basic things you can get to start off with. Punch a bunch of these uh, plant fibers here. You can actually make a very basic clothing out of these plant fibers. And that would probably be the first thing I would recommend you do. Let's go through, get a bunch of these plant fibers, and make some basic clothing. Um, these bird nests are great because they have feathers and eggs and you need feathers to make arrows. So that's another thing we can get started with. So go around here. A bunch of these plant fibers. Search these things, see what's there. Hard to take everything. There's nothing there. Nothing in there. Some water, that's a good thing. You also want to start collecting cotton. Because what you need to do is, right now, you don't have a spawn point. Or to create a spawn point, you need to gather a bunch of cotton and make a sleeping bag and put that down. Once you put your sleeping bag down, that is your spawn point. Grab this rock. Check off bird nest. Sometimes you get lucky and you get a nice weapon to start off with. I guess we'll have to see what I come up with. <clears throat> um, so, in order to make an axe, which is going to be your first tool, be a stone axe, I need wood, plant fibers, and small stone. I need to gather some wood. So let's go to these small trees and get some wood out of them. I think. I don't know if I can get wood out of this one either. That might have been wood. Yeah, it's really tedious when you first start off with because you don't have a proper tool to get anything with. I have some wood. Nice. So, looks like I can create a stone axe. That's my first tool. Make gathering easier. There's that. These goldenrod flowers you can make tea with and they're pretty good for health. So I would definitely recommend picking them up as well. Seven plant fibers. Let's see what I can make with that. 
Okay, let's make a shirt, pants, shoes, gloves. And a hat. <clears throat> I'm going to continue gathering plant fibers so I have the appropriate materials. You can also let this thing create while you're going around gathering material. I think we want to gather a bunch of this stone. Pick up the small stones here. But since we have an axe, we can use this to gather stone as well. Some zombies over there, I'm not sure I want to mess with them just yet because right now I'm very vulnerable. <coughs> this uh, stone axe is not that awesome for, um, for defense. Ideally you want to have like a wooden club or something like that, that would be better for defense. Another cool thing about this game is that you can kind of hear the um, zombies when they're nearby. And since I really have nothing, I have no armor on or anything, I'm just going to really avoid them as much as possible. Keep an eye on them, make sure I'm not uh, seeing them. Yep, I'm undetected. Good. I just broke my axe. Should have enough to make another axe. I'm gonna make two of these actually. <coughs> While I'm in here, to get into this menu, you hit tab. To get to your character, you can click on character. Now put some clothes on. Where? 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 Backup weapon. That's great. Continue breaking this apart. Doing pretty decent on time. Um, so, but I, I think I, I need to start figuring out where I'm going to spend the night. Ideally, I kind of like going on the roofs of gas stations. It's a pretty safe spot at night. So, I'll just uh, go up this road a little bit and see what there is to see. I'm going to also want to get some trees as well so I have some wood. So, where exactly am I? I think I'm kind of in the desert, so I'm wearing everything that I need to wear, so that's a good thing. Magnum parts. I got some good stuff so far. Some good. These goldenrod plants as I go along. These and uh, oh, that's a bear. You do not want to mess with the bear. And hey, look, it's a pig. You can get a pig. You can use a pig for food, but I don't have any anything to really get that pig with, so that's going to be a challenge. And there's a deer. You can get those both for food, but not the proper thing. I really should have an arrow. What's this? Oh, I got a little town here. That's kind of neat. The only bad thing about little towns is there's always zombies in. And, uh, it's not always ideal. It looks more cotton. I have to gather this cotton. As, uh, um, totally avoid all these zombies. I do not want to mess with them right now. I don't have uh, any good weapons or anything like that. I'll be able to do something like that. I get out of here.
Maybe if I have a wooden club, that'd be better than the stone axe. That's actually pretty decent for defense. It's not the greatest, but... Okay, I'm undetected. Let's see if I can make a wooden club. Oh, crap. There's one right there. Oh, yep. He's coming after me. Let me get out of here. Another thing I want to avoid are those damn dogs. The dogs always run. Do not want to mess with those right now. You're very vulnerable when you start off with. You have absolutely nothing. Like a wooden club. Almost got me. Ah, oh, dogs over there. It's really not very good places right now. Go. decent job. I'm kind of glad. Still don't want to mess with that bear though. All those dogs, but maybe have to avoid. Maybe unavoidable at this point. Bear. I don't want to go too close to the bear. Uh, I think I'll continue going north. See what's out there. And really, 